can't see them as cute as sometimes, unfortunately, many people do, but actually as incredibly, incredibly brave. So they're taking action in their communities, really pushing for revolutionary change and really finding creative ways to circumvent the challenges that they're facing. These girls are taking over the closing plenary of HRFN and I think it's an amazing moment in philanthropy because now is the time as as Ruby just said it's not that we're trying to we're trying to create a movement this movement is already there it already exists why don't we ask the same question about boys why do we keep investing in boys yeah! and say that yes we are changing the world why do we need to actually focus on the fact that we are funding girls. Si nosotros escucháramos, nos daríamos cuenta de lo que ellas piensan y de que ellas tienen ideas muy creativas para cambiar el mundo. It's crazy to grow up as a child, having no clue how corrupt the world is. Not knowing why us people boxed in, locked in, and dying. We're all products of the previous life here, and we're all dealt with the hand given to us. Whether you're Samoan, Black, Mexican, Chinese, Indian, the government has never empowered us people of color. It is our duty as the people to take care of us, take care of our own people. When the government is gone and everything has crashed and burned, it will only be us, the people. Like the real power that you have is telling us what we don't know, which is how does it affect girls. And 20% is the rage and the anger, and I just want to get that out of you guys as well, because that's really important to know that girls feel that anger and that rage as well. We always talk about these large issues that affect girls, but we never ask them. I was the only girl there. <laughs> to our third and final day of the conference. Yes. Yes. It's arrived. Yes. One thing we can control. The whole thing. Since you saw my body, Liko. We are the faces of change. Our our need is beyond education, and it is only us. Because most of us are teen mothers, we had the experience. Though we uh, we finished our secondary education, but it was a tough thing. Young girls of color, and particularly black girls, are dying on the streets. Vengo de Guatemala. Estoy orgullosamente participando acá para que ustedes conozcan nuestra historia. Yo soy niña. Yo he sufrido de violencia, pero también he salido de ahí. When your child looks up to you and says, I want to change the world, will you question that? Reach out to this organization, reach out to us. Like, we are here to support us. We are here for each other. Because we believe that education and technology is our defense to freedom. We have expertise in what we are doing. As I mentioned those ages before, as you can see, all these girls here, so young, but so powerful. This is us. We will create these programs and projects and policies and these changes with or without your help. But these things will happen faster with your help. The time is therefore now to support not just me in Barbados, but all of my other sisters represented here, and all the ones that aren't, to support the changes that we want to see so we can all create these societies everywhere around the globe that we all need to see. Thank you. الجد والعمل المستقبل الأمل مر أمر أمر أه الحنان المكان الأمان أصل الإنسان والتجدد الجد والعمل المستقبل الأمل مر أمر أمر أه We are the faces of change because we are the first youth generation that doesn't fight for our future as an adult, but rather we fight for our present as girls, teenagers and youth. We are the faces of change because we are the biggest influence in the community and we run the world. I believe we are the faces of change because we're ready to stand up and initiate the change we want to see. We are the faces of change because we work every day to give voices to the voiceless. We are the faces of change. Young women and girls who have experienced intergenerational trauma and violence, we know and have the solutions. 